Defense Central is currently on the ground at the Dubai Air Show 2023, recognized as the largest aerospace and defense event in the Middle East, drawing exhibitors and attendees from across the globe. Boasting a lineup of over 1,400 exhibitors, the Dubai Air Show 2023 showcases a spectacular array of 180 commercial and military aircraft in both flying and static displays, along with helicopters, electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, drones, and more. But this year's edition of the show also features the biggest space pavilion to date. So, in today's video, Let's explore the Space Pavilion as one of the central hubs at the airshow, offering companies and investors insights into cutting-edge space technologies and fostering meaningful discussions. Make sure to watch until the end, as we also cover some of the European military aircraft featured at the show. As the airshow commemorates its 18th cycle, boasting a track record of generating over 3 trillion dirhams in business. This year's edition coincides with the UAE's 26th anniversary of their space program. As a result, the dedicated space pavilion not only shows cutting-edge space technologies in static displays, but it also features a dedicated two-day conference program led by international and regional key speakers who are tackling the hottest topics in the industry. The decision to emphasize space technologies at this year's edition of the show follows the signing of a memorandum of understanding between the Dubai Airshow and the UAE Space Agency at the 2021 event. Progress in Earth observation, astronaut training, lunar missions, and upcoming asteroid belt ventures has been made by the UAE in the past few years. A representative from the UAE Space Agency told Defense Central that the 2023 edition of the air show serves as a platform for them to present their most recent endeavors, highlighting initiatives such as the Mission to the Asteroid Belt, the Planet X Challenge, and the Space Economic Zones program. In fact, the agency used the air show to reveal their plan for the MBR Explorer, the spacecraft set for the Emirates Mission to the Asteroid Belt. Launching in March 2028, the Explorer aims to rendezvous with the seventh asteroid in 2034. The Space Agency outlined key moments during the event, highlighting when the Explorer will leverage the gravitational forces of Venus, Earth, and Mars to cover the 5 billion kilometer journey. What caught our attention was the virtual reality set, developed jointly with the UK based Metavisionaries organization, which allows airshow attendees to virtually explore the asteroid belt. Recognizing the importance of fostering private sector capabilities in the next five to ten years, the UAE Space Agency envisions creating significant opportunities for startups, with the Dubai Airshow serving as an ideal platform through the dedicated startup event that took place on day three of the Airshow. Before we wrap up today's video, let's shift our focus to a selection of European companies and military aircraft, highlighting their presence and related developments at the Dubai Airshow 2023. A notable attendee at the airshow is the Eurofighter Typhoon multi-role fighter aircraft. Amidst German export restrictions affecting a potential Eurofighter sale to Saudi Arabia, Typhoon operators, including two jets from the Royal Air Force and one from the Kuwait Air Force, showcased their aircraft in the static display at the show. Making its first major appearance overseas, Kuwait ordered 22 single-seat and six two-seat versions of the Typhoon in April 2016. Kuwait's Typhoons are the first operational ones equipped with the Captor-E radar, featuring an active electronically scanned array. The UAE Air Force is also operating European aircraft, specifically the French Dassault Mirage 2000 fighter aircraft. However, plans are underway to replace the Mirage 2000 with the Dassault Rafale multirole aircraft. At the airshow, the UAE defense conglomerate edge, announced ongoing negotiations for integrating its Alteric precision-guided munitions onto the upcoming Rafale fighter jets. This move follows a significant $19 billion contract granted to Dassault in 2021 for 80 Rafale jets. So, what do you think? Let us know in the comments below if you would like to see an in-depth look at any platform featured at the airshow. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, as we have plenty more to share from the Dubai Airshow 2023.